Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've had some issues with this this car in this in the close to zero degrees uh, winter time. So I've had some issues with the brake uh, feel on the on, uh, and I'm it's making noise on the right side. So I'm going to take it apart and see what seems to be the issue. So let's do it. This is a 2002 Honda Civic. So like every time we jack a car up, we're gonna break the torque on these lug nuts before we raise it up off the ground. As you can see, that's ice. That's ice, it's cold. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can find out what's going on. I suspect, I suspect it's water in the caliper uh, guide pins. Uh, causing it to kind of stick when it comes to sub-zero or close to zero temperatures But I don't know until I get it apart. So I'll have to see what's going on And uh, when it's cold like this in the winter you take every opportunity for a nice day To fix every little thing that that goes wrong when it's really cold That way it doesn't happen again So let's see we got the salt Let's see what's been going on inside this wheel. Let's see what's happening. For added protection, put the wheel underneath the car like this. this is a good practice whenever you're uh, changing the uh, changing the. Uh, higher on the side of the road or something like that. <clears throat> All right, so the guide pins are here. Let's see if you guys can see this. Guide pins are here. I'm suspecting it's having issues going in and out when it gets cold. So I'm gonna take it apart and see if I can see anything. It's about a 12 millimeter. Go with the 12 and I'm right. All right, got that loose. All right, got that loose. All right. That's a kind of a good sign when this turns freely. Pretty good sign. Get the other one loose. And I kind of warmed it up. What's, what's making me think it might be icing up or something is because when it gets warm, it seems to work fine. So, I don't know. We will see. All right. That looks good. There's no leaks. There's no leaks in the brake caliper. So let's, uh, let's, it's got to go in here. All right, good. It's not under any kind of load. I kind of wedged it in there. All right, so let's see what we can see here. These seem to be okay. Yeah, they're a little sticky. A little sticky. Let's see if we can see any corrosion on these guide pins. No corrosion. Be okay yeah these are all right so I don't know what is going on here <laughs> let's see about the let's see if there's any uneven wear I start to hear a noise coming from this side these are okay no uneven wear here so let's see the other side The other side is a little bit of uneven wear on the other side. I see it. You can see that. See how, I don't know if you can see, but one side is, is worn, one side is worn more than the other. Oh, that's why this thing. 
Okay, one side is worn down more than the other. This side over here where my index finger is, is thicker than the side where my thumb is at. So, that tells me that we might need to grease our channels right here. I'm gonna grease these two channels with anti-seize. See how that works. Cause these look a little bit dry, I don't know. It looks pretty dry. Here we go, I'm gonna grease these with a little bit of anti-seize. And you know what, I'm gonna take some of the corrosion off trusty corrosion corrosion removing uh, sandpaper here all right so as you can see it's a little bit messed up here it looks like I got some kind of grease on there because it needs to move pretty good in there it needs to move freely in there Salt does a lot of bad things to cars here in the north. Just take a little bit of anise, put a little dip, put a little drop there, and a little drop in here. You don't want to get this anise on your brake pad surface. Uh, let me move you over here so I can see better, actually. I can see what I'm doing. Here. Well. So what I did is I brought a little brake cleaner with me. So I'm gonna make sure that that anti-seize is taken off. Looking good. All right, we're gonna put this caliper back, or this uh, brake pad back on. Let's do the other side here, just for just for symmetry. All right, we're gonna clean that off here. Something's sticking when it's cold, so it might be that. You don't want to get this NACs on your brake on your brake rotor because it won't it won't grab if you need it and you do need it to grab. So watch where it goes. Bring it in. And make sure it works good. Some anti-seizing going on there. This one's good. All right, let's put it back. Let's put some anti-seize on the back of this too. Right here where it does its, right here where it does its moving. We're gonna put a little anti-seize on there. Just to make sure it doesn't stick on itself too much. And I don't have to, I don't have to do too much of this kind of maintenance in a warm environment, I don't know why. It's probably because things get kind of gooey and sticky in the winter uh, more than they would 
any other time. Because the viscosity of this anti-seize, or I'm sorry, the viscosity of, of um, oils and lubricants starts to increase. I'll just finish that up. Like that. And I'm probably gonna do the other side too, just for fun. Uh, because if one side's doing it, the other side might be doing it or start to do it. So I'm just gonna lube up both sides just to be symmetrical with everything okay so that's uh i'll let you know at the end of the video if this fixed it or not